श्री कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम द बिगेस्ट प्रॉब्लम फॉर एवरी पर्सन इन द वर्ल्ड इज we have taken for granted that we are inside the body until such time we take ourselves to be inside the body all the problems will continue to remain in different forms will be only changing the problems see like when i get divorce and get married to someone else what i am doing is only changing the problem problem is not solved change similarly on this spiritual path somebody thinks of seeing god and then he imagines i had the vision of god so when i take this then what happens that i am inside the body and seeing the god outside somewhere so this sense of otherness is the problem second thing those who are engage in awakening of the kundalini and it happens it's not is not it is not a bluff it happens but that depends on our understanding some people have so much uh concentrated on their prana that the prana starts becoming concentrated in some parts and then it starts creating some kind of imaginary experiences for example somebody gets some kind of tickling in the heart somebody gets the tickling in the throat somebody gets tickling in the forehead somebody gets a pressure on the top of the head it does happen but it is upsetting the factory settings with which we are born see and the reason is <coughs> they have heard that you have to open the chakras the technical word is chakra bhed and that is translated in english as the opening of the chakra and this is where they go wrong See? many people one person asked me this question about it so i mean my all chakras are open my kundalini is awakened now what i have to do next i don't know please guide me i said you go to your guru who guided you no no he expired therefore i have come to you then i said you go away run away from me don't stay here he said why you are a guru eater you already killed one guru you have come to kill me or what See? remember one basic principle if you are left with any question you are far away from the truth zero questions no find out about what there is no question there is no question about our being in being there is no becoming when i become a meditator then i want to see something i want to experience something meditation or the experience is not a experience of something it is experience itself 
it is not the knowledge of something knowledge of the self knowledge of realization no and this happens because that chakra bheda is not clearly understood the simple thing is the muladhara chakra bhed means muladhara is the experience where we are 100% identified with the body when we are identified with the body there cannot be freedom from desires so the second catch is the sadhisthan chakra where there is kamana kam desire and the third catch is the manipur chakra in the umbilicus there it is the greed desire can never be satiated we want more and more and more so till such time we are in the lower three chakras the muladhara swadishthan and manipur we are in samsara and we have accepted i am inside the body and everything is outside the body see unless this error is corrected whatever you may do you will get some kinds of hiccups but it has nothing to do with the truth see because the basics are not clear therefore meditation should begin with this clear understanding we have to get rid of this notion that i am inside the body <clears throat> and therefore we begin with proper understanding <clears throat> our present understanding is i am the one who has so many possessions and so many relations this is the definition of i for me now correct that definition this i who is possessing things and relating to the beings <coughs> when this i is born so we are told and that is our experience this i who is possessing and relating is born only after body identification in the deep sleep we don't have anything we don't have any relations because we are nobody so what will be the first meditation come to a point of nobody and nobody could be only after body disidentification one girl when she was writing something as dictating <coughs> she immediately saw this word disidentification she said somebody there is no word in the dictionary disidentification like this agreement is disidentification So will you like to change some word? I said, look here. <coughs> Fools follow the dictionary. Wise create the dictionary. <laughs> I am not talking according to. I am creating dictionary. Don't get carried away by that. So, body disidentification is the goal. <coughs> and for that we have to first accept that i am someone other than the body accept theoretically and there is create that is given in our scriptures by telling us the law of karma last life we have done something therefore in this life we have got miseries or joy we do something in this life again in the next life we will suffer or enjoy therefore we existed before the present body was born 
we exist in the present body we continue to exist after the body is drop therefore we are someone other than the body theoretically accepted <coughs> now meditation will be to experience this what it is like being other than the body so being other than the body will be all that is associated with the body is not me so what is associated with the body body has a shape size age so other than the body means what there is no shape there is no size so what will be meditation start playing what it is like being formless now what is formless in our knowledge the space so we start playing space space what must be the experience of the space space supports all the forms and the shapes but doesn't have any form or shape forms and shapes are many formless supporting space is one and there is only one as in deep sleep there are no thoughts thoughts are always about the other forms are subject to change formless descent is it not our experience we are not experienced that we are growing forms belong to the body the child body teenage body middle age body
but the bodies where they are that space has not changed and without the space bodies cannot exist the space is inert but we are conscious the so what will be the space the conscious space chida akash so we play conscious space chida akash because we are no more inside the body there cannot be any pressure to any point inside the body keep it is happening get out of it <clears throat> don't give any value ignore totally the space doesn't have beginning middle and end is it not our experience the mind has almost dropped the body and hence there is no shape size form in the knowledge now our experience is like that of the space no shapes no beginning no middle no modifications no end no change and the most important thing we have not created anything because we are not doing meditation only remaining aware of what is when we concentrate on the object color and form we are not aware of the eyes but when we are aware of the eyes colors and forms are dropped when we are aware of the mind sense organs are dropped when we drop even the mind there is objectless awareness this is what 
is the truth. If the thoughts disturb us is only because we are not aware of the thoughts. But we are lost in the theme of the thought. Instead of fighting with the thoughts, come to realize that at the root of every thought there is somebody and somebody is born after a body identification. Hence, remind yourself at this moment this I is nobody.
the body has totally disappeared from the mind there is no concept valid of inside and outside from the spacious point of view everything is inside the space nothing is outside the space the contents in the space are like the reflections in the mirror If the mirror is covered, no reflections. Similarly, when body identification is dropped, there is no body. all the somebody are like reflections in the mirror i find myself reflected in the mirror of my father and the reflection is sun i have find myself reflected in the mirror of the wife reflection is husband but they have no existence when these mirrors are removed i continue to be as there are gross objects in the gross space 
so too there are thoughts in the mind space no thought can disturb the mind space try to see something don't try to experience something
avoid talking to yourself and listen to silence Open the eyes for two seconds, but don't see anything. And again, close. And we analyze that experiment. When the eyes were opened, just images appeared on the retina, but there was nothing added. And when we again closed the eyes, there was nothing deleted. Like the mirror, when things are in front of the mirror, nothing is added to the mirror. And when things are taken away, nothing is lost. Mirror remain the same. 
exactly the same way this conscious mirror that we are in this mirror consciousness the body appears but in fact nothing is added to us the mind and the thoughts appear but nothing is added to us and when in deep sleep and samadhi when they are removed there is no loss this infinite conscious mirror is our essential nature this is so without by doing anything the self is not created as a result of meditation anything that is known is inside the knowledge an object is inside the light not outside the light similarly the body is in the mind and the mind is in the consciousness in the body changes 
no influence on the mind in the mind changes nothing happens to the conscious light <clears throat> it is only for this recognition and introduction to our essential nature that we are sitting this is not doing meditation and this experience is not the result of meditation whether you know or do not know whether you accept or do not accept the truth is you is not achievement or a success and if it cannot be an achievement and success then how there can be no achievement and failure gross space and the mind space they are empty ness and therefore there is multiplicity of the objects but the conscious space is solid like the water is a solid space for the fish like the ocean is a solid space for the waves gold is solid space for the ornaments
therefore waves are not created nor they die they become manifest and again unmanifest similarly the ornaments become manifest and unmanifest the water and the gold are the same always similarly consciousness becoming manifest is waking dream becoming unmanifest is deep sleep and samadhi nothing is added to the ocean by the manifestation of waves nor any loss in the waves die away similarly waking and dream do not add anything nor deep sleep and samadhi take away anything this game of manifestation and unmanifestation is a natural process take deep breath once or twice slowly now the body is included in the mind so in the capsule of the mind the body is kept move your toes and fingers slowly in its own place now the concept that i am inside the body 
and the world is outside the body has become real and the samsara begins om purnamadah purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnamevavashishyate om shanti 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 hari om shri vyo namaha hari om